All right, guys. Big day for Palantir today. We have earnings coming up after the bell, and right now the stock is down. And mind you, we're only one hour into the session, but the stock is down over 3% right now heading into earnings. So we have a lot to go over in this video, mostly the charts. We're going to go over a bunch of different time frames, key levels that I'm looking at, what I'm looking at here as we are heading into earnings after the bell. And of course, I'll do another Palantir video tonight after the earnings actually come out. So make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and you might as well get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video guys use that link down below open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks you get five stocks right off the bat and fund it with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks and mind you each of those stocks is valued up to two thousand bucks and listen to this guys fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks for a limited time you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which makes this promo a no-brainer so get on it guys use that link down below and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so right now it's about what 10 35 10 36 a.m to be exact so we're only an hour into the session and mind you the overall markets are uh, it looks like all the indexes are green except for the russell which is down a quarter of a percent we have the nasdaq up a half percent the s&p is up 0.7 and we have the dow up around one percent so the dow is doing very well as the VIX is down about 5%. And pretty much for Palantir, guys, this stock's been selling off ever since the markets opened at around, uh, well, they opened at 9.30 a.m. on the East Coast every day. But this, when it opened, was around $18.30, $18.30, roughly, uh, maybe $18.40, anywhere right there or, you know, around there. And we saw a huge drop from that point to now where it's at $17.55, $17.60. Maybe not a huge drop. I don't want to blow it out of proportion. Uh, but we have sold off ever since the markets opened, uh, you know, pretty much up until now, which now we're a little over, like I said, an hour in. So percentage wise from where we open, we are down about 3.7 to almost 4%. So we are down almost 4% from open. And that puts us now under the lows from Friday and from all of last week. You guys probably remember last week was not the best week for Palantir. Sure, we did hit over 20 bucks earlier in the week. I think that was on Tuesday, right? Uh, yeah, that was on Tuesday. We hit $20.24. That was great. But after that point, right, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, uh, you know, today, uh, Monday, uh, we've been selling off pretty much every single day after that. We've had about four days, including today. M maybe we go green today. I don't know. But uh, we've had four days of red, it seems like, here in a row as Palantir is heading into earnings, which honestly is not the worst sign considering how overbought it was when we were at 20 bucks. Now we're down 13% from that point. And you guys can see as I peel the layers back a little bit more, uh, we can see how overbought this thing did get. It ran from 16 bucks. Think about this, guys. From 16 bucks on the 27th of um, you know July all the way to 20 bucks by the 1st of August. So we're talking four or five days. Um, not even. This thing ran over four bucks per share. Percentage-wise, we're talking 26 percent big move in just four or five days of trading guys so in my eyes the way we're uh, you know the way we're selling off right now heading into earnings is actually a healthy thing pretty good sign in my opinion and honestly like i've said before if earnings come in much better than expected you know guidance is strong maybe we get some news out of the conference call which uh you know we'll cover all that later today again make sure to subscribe we're almost at thirty thousand subs guys i think this week we will hit it i appreciate you all as always, look, we're going to break down much more um, later today. And the fact that we're selling off is a good thing. And if we pull up the 20 day chart, look at this, guys. Now we're right by the 180 SMA on this time frame. And you guessed it, we're still holding an uptrend, right? You guys can see that right here. Higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. We're holding on to that. So in the very short term, folks, I'm looking at right here, right? Right here on the trend line like we held couple of weeks ago, like we also held, uh, you know, back in the beginning of July, you can see that right here. So if buyers start coming in anywhere in the 17 range, low, mid 17s, high 17s, whatever it is, that could be where, uh, you know, maybe this uptrend continues for all we know. Is it guaranteed? Of course not, guys, especially with earnings coming up. Anything could happen for all we know to, to play devil's advocate. 
Palantir could bomb earnings. They could completely drop the ball, and this stock could gap down massively. That's possible. Uh, you know, do I think that's going to happen? Not necessarily. I could be wrong, of course. Nothing's guaranteed. Nobody knows the future. Uh, but I don't think it's going to necessarily happen. But it could happen. The thing is, it could happen. You guys have to realize that. So on the 20-day chart, we're holding trend right now, still with today's 3% sell-off so far. And on the 4-hour chart, you guessed it, yes, we're still holding trend as well. You can see right here, we are approaching the 180 SMA, which is right around 1650, 17 bucks on this four hour chart. That could be where ultimately we find support again, uh, you know, in, in the mid 16s, lower 17s, which guys, let's be honest, we're pretty much there right now. So it's all up to earnings. It all comes down to what these numbers, uh, you know, come in at, which again, we'll break them down later today. So make sure you guys keep in touch with the channel, you know, keep your eyes out for that video later on today. And like I said before, the markets right now are doing very well, except for the Russell. All the indexes are green. The Russell's down 0.1% right now. The Nasdaq's up half. The Dow's up almost 1% and the S&P's up about 0.7. And we have a lot of individual stocks, which we might as well break down some more of them right now that are doing pretty well. We might as well, as we do have a little little bit more time in this video and we covered Palantir uh, you know for the majority of the video but we still have a couple more minutes here to go so why not cover a couple other ones so CCL continues to move well actually it did pull back a little bit the past couple of weeks after doing extraordinarily well throughout let's see uh, the end of April all the way up to about the middle beginning of July so three months guys this stock CCL went ballistic start to cool off a little bit and now it looks like it is starting to pop off of the 180s may about at about 17 50 18 bucks and if we do start taking out let's say uh this trend line right here let me actually draw a channel very quickly guys bear with me if we start breaking out of this channel right here boom to the upside that's where the next leg up could be coming on CCL. So market, keep your eyes on it. Let's see what else is moving here. We have AMC, which I'll probably make another video on that later on today. I'll make it its own video or before this. I'm not sure what order I'm going to release these videos in. Probably this one first, then the AMC one later. Either way, uh, AMC is up 6-7% right now, looking pretty good. Big Tech is doing fairly well right now. NVIDIA is up 2%. It looks like it is bouncing off of the 180 SMA on the four hour chart. We have, it looks like uh, Apple, is that Apple I'm reading? Am I, am I reading the sticker symbol wrong? Apple's actually down. What the heck's going on with Apple here, guys? Looks like ever since their earnings, uh, they've been destroyed. Maybe I'll make a video on Apple because I forgot to make one or I didn't have time to make one um, over the weekend. Uh, going over the earnings. I did release one on Amazon. I think that might have been on Friday. I forget exactly uh, what day that was. But either way, Apple's getting beaten up right now, which might be worth a video. I'll, I'll cover that one. So make sure you guys watch out for that as well. We have Pinterest up today. Micro, um, a monster. Uh, Microsoft might be up. Let me see what Microsoft's up. Yeah, 0.6%. Google's up on the day around 1.7%. Not bad, guys. Not too bad. So, yeah, man, jam-packed day today. And uh, really, th this entire week's going to be big for the stock market, for the economy. Don't, uh, don't forget, we have on Thursday morning, yeah, Thursday morning, the 10th of August, we have CPI data coming out. Let me double check. Is that on the 10th? Let me see. I think it's on, well, I know it's for sure on Thursday. Uh, yeah, that's the 10th. So, you know, it's 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 a big week. It's a big week, guys, and uh, we have a lot to cover this week. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo. The sponsor of this video, guys, just go down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks right off the bat and fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys. Fund your account with at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks. For a limited time, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia stock, which makes this promo a no-brainer. So use that link down below. And of course, that is an affiliate link. Full disclosure, it helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll see you in the next video.